Hi my Virgo witches, welcome to the Witch's Craft. I'm your host, Moon Mistress. So this is your guys' summer solstice reading um, for Virgo. I don't know where I was going there with that sentence. Anyway, um, so yes, this is your guys' summer solstice reading. Sorry I haven't done videos in a while, but hopefully you guys don't mind. Okay, so... For the summer solstice, Virgo, what can we expect for you? Well, the card that came out here is the Queen of Cups. So for some of you, during the summertime, there may be a water sign who is significant. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There is also an energy here if you are not dealing... I swear, every time I start these videos... I hear banging going on in the house. I don't I don't know. If you are not dealing with a water sign, um then you guys are reminiscing on the past, okay? Thinking of memories. All right, moving on. So Virgos, what is the sun illuminating for you during the solstice? We get the four of pentacles. So for some of you, there is going to be some kind of illumination regarding your stability, your money here, as well as, again, something that you are holding on to, Virgo. What is this four of pentacles for Virgo? What's the four of pentacles for my Virgo witches? What's the four of pentacles? For some of you, you're holding on to a marriage like situation. For some of you, a Taurus could be significant here. I'll be right back, Virgo. I gotta get my baby. Sorry guys, because I film it right on right on YouTube, I don't know how to, you know, pause and everything. Okay, so this is my new baby. Her name is Egypt. Yeah, she's a tight little girl. Okay, so let's get back into your reading, Virgo. Some of you are holding on to a marriage-like commitment or relationship is what it looks like here with the... Ten of Cups. This could have been a relationship that ended, okay? Because, of course, the Ten is an ending. For some of you, I'm getting the story that you were trying to save this person. Hmm. Okay? Now, for others of you, there was ending because there was some kind of conflict. There could have been constant bickering, battling going on back and forth, okay? There could have also been an en energy of shallow victories, you know? Someone trying to get one up on you, Virgo, or you trying to get one up on somebody else, okay? So there was this really challenging energy going on. During the summer solstice, things like this might come up for you guys. It doesn't overly look like horrible negative energy it just looks like something that's already happened that's going to come up for you guys that you have to deal with before your birthday i'm getting for some of you this marriage like commitment and because it's going to be you know for so many of you maybe this was just a a job that made you really happy but there was conflict at it okay it doesn't have to be relationship but for the majority of you it is so Again, this relationship could have made you feel emotionally happy, emotionally content. Um, what energy are you currently radiating into the universe, Virgo? You want to play with that one? Okay. We get the Knight of Rods coming out. 
So what you're sending out, the energy that you're sending out into the universe, uh, Virgo, is this really passionate energy, okay? <clears throat> this fire energy. Where you could either be focusing on things that make you passionate and you heading towards them. You could also be radiating the energy of you wanting to move or travel, okay? And at the very least, move forward. Now, that's really good for you guys. You could be radiating out um, to people around you uh, things that you've wanted to communicate as well. The only little tiny warning that I have here with this um, Knight of Wands energy and this Page of Swords energy is you guys don't want to be releasing this vibration of coming in and out of the picture, okay? For example, sing let's go with uh, this example, okay? For single Virgos. If you're dealing with somebody, you don't want to be flip floppy with them, okay? You don't want to be like, yeah, I'm going to come down and see you and then you act immature or something and then go away. Now, I'm not saying that all Virgos are like this or anything like that. I'm just saying you don't want to have this flip floppy energy, okay? You also want to avoid starting something new that's passionate and then having it fizzle out, okay? Um, be a little bit maybe slower and steadier if there is something new that you're starting. That's the only warning I have for that. Other than that, it's really good passionate energy for you guys. Coming up as air and fire. Those are really strong and fast moving uh, signs, right? Un unlike um, yourself, Virgo. Okay. Now, what do you need to let go of? What do you need to release during this summer solstice, Virgo? We have the Ten of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, even though that's a positive card... <laughs> Some of you have to release a family situation or a home situation. Maybe some of you need to let go of, you know, your family home. Or you have to let go of something that happened in terms of your stability. Maybe, um, again, maybe there was a breakup. Maybe there was a... A situation regarding your parents or regarding the home something like this something that has to do with stability and the home something like that and you guys have to release that energy into the Sun even though it's it shows an abundance here it shows that you guys felt abundant you felt complete okay you guys have to release that energy so that you can feel and get unstuck here with the eight of swords release your mental afflictions so that the Sun can come through Okay, some of you are dealing with a Leo. How can you utilize the sun's energy for your growth? So, what you guys have here is the three of wands and the four of wands. In order to get to your stability, to your happy home, to your happy marriage, okay? In order to reach this happy celebration, <coughs> so you guys are going to need to communicate something for sure, but um, what you should be doing with the three of wands here is planting your little seeds right before your birthday, Virgo. Your birthday is going to come up in August here, September, okay? So what you want to do now is go, okay, this is what I want to happen uh, by the end of the summer. This is what I want to come in and really focus and try to manifest those intentions. And when, when the sun starts illuminating these things for you, Virgo, that you need to let go of, this energy that comes up, you're going to take all those things that the sun is illuminating for you and you're going to go, okay, this is what I want to do better. Uh, this is how I want my relationships to be. Or this is... Um, what I need to do to get over this situation. So you guys are really going to look at whatever the sun illuminates for you now, and you're going to turn that into something positive so you can get your happy home, okay? 
some of you guys may be manifesting a marriage, a relationship, a new home here, a celebration for some of you. Now, what will manifest during the summer solstice? No, sorry. What will manifest over the next three months if you make these intentions? Well, we're going to get some fast forward movement here. Again, for some of you, this could be actual literal travel or moving, okay? Which I don't normally associate with this card, but it is fast moving. So that's why that came up. For others of you, there is going to be fast communication coming in. I tried to clarify what this was. For some of you, this communication is going to go back and forth between you and another person, okay? For some of you, this is going to be you communicating and reaching out. And for some of you, it's coming in for you. There's air energy here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There's Virgo. There's Cancer. There's Aquarius. And there's even Leo here. Okay? So there is going to be some kind of communication that's going to manifest. And a lot of fast, fast, fast forward movement over the next couple months. What's your message from the sun? That you guys are going to be victorious and moving forward. You guys are going to be successful. You're, you're going to maybe even get some recognition here. Some of you guys are going to be successful in communicating something to an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or dealing with a situation involving them. For others of you, you're going to be victorious in a legal situation dealing with a lawyer. For others of you, you're going to be successful in moving forward from a situation where there was lying, cheating, stealing, uh, negative, uh, sneaking around behavior going on. Okay, you guys are going to be victorious there. So, Virgo, that was your summer solstice reading. I do hope it made sense. I'm sorry if any of it was confusing. And if you... Yes, yes, I know my baby girl, I know. So, um, if you guys do want to check out your general horoscope, check out my other channel, The Oracle Divine, all one word. For some reason, I made it like that. I'm kind of hard to find. Um, and yes, I will see you guys again. Bye, Virgo.